So I therefore declare that the leader designate of the Democratic Unionist Party is Edwin Poots, MLA. Congratulations, Edwin. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. And it is an immense honor and pleasure to stand here today in this position. It's not a position that I expected to be in uh, some weeks ago. Uh, however, uh, things can change quite radically. I first of all want to say thanks uh, to Almighty God for giving me the health and strength to do this uh, because I had my own challenges earlier this year. I'm looking forward to a positive relationship right across Northern Ireland uh, with my party colleagues and indeed with people from other parties. I think that the opportunities for Northern Ireland are great. The opportunities uh, for us to make Northern Ireland a great place after this hundred years has passed and we move into a new hundred years are immense. We have had great people in Northern Ireland over those years, but the greatest thing in Northern Ireland is the resilience of all of its people. My father was a founder member of the DEP some 50 years ago, and I joined it after the death of the Reverend Robin, Robert Bradford MP in 1981. And throughout all of that period, this party has been the authentic voice of unionism and will continue to be the authentic voice of unionism under my leadership. The opportunities are great. We want to ensure that for young people, there is good jobs available in Northern Ireland. Educationally, we tackle the issues where um, young people from more deprived backgrounds get greater opportunity. We want to increase our university places. There is so much to do. We have work to do in our health service, which is greatly challenged at this time with waiting lists which are horrendous anywhere in the United Kingdom. So there's much to do, there's much to be done. And I stand here today very proud to be taking up the mantle as leader of the Democratic Unionist Party. And that brings with it a responsibility to all of unionism. I want to say this uh, very clearly, I will be a leader in unionism who will be reaching out to other leaders in unionism. I want to see unionism working together. The Northern Ireland Protocol has proven to be a massive challenge for us. And if we are to uh, fight this, to ensure that everybody in Northern Ireland is not worse off as a consequence of the protocol, then it's for us to do that together.